Well, hello there. What are we doing today? It involves the humble Coke bottle, or in fact, Diet Coke bottle, because nobody needs that much sugar in their system. Can it be used to power something like a plane? I thought I'd try it. And I started off by getting my wing wing, a plane I really didn't get on with that well. Other people have got great success. For me, it had some good flights and it had some bad flights. I'd ripped it apart, I'd taken all the servers out, I was just about to put it in the bin. I thought, oh, I might be easier for this. But first, I decided to paint it. This was not necessarily a good move because I only had one colour of paint. I've not painted anything before. And it didn't look good. Here is the horror, the red painted wing wing. But don't worry, I've made it much better by using a Sharpie to put these details on. Doesn't it look absolutely horrendous? Now, in order for my bottle to power my wing wing, I need to put it in there somewhere. So I then turned to printing some bits out, coming up with this small dog looking thing and more importantly something to hold the bottle like this the idea being that these stabby things will go into the foam here and here and i'll be able to glue those into place next was to cut some little slots where i thought they would go and get them into place which then looks like this the idea being that we've got the bottle in place here reasonably tightly but not too tightly because this is going to obviously expand um, when it gets its thrust it's going to potentially hit against this front bit here um, so that is held on by the spar so that's not going to go anywhere and maybe something just to wrap around there to keep it in place. At the moment it's as you expect somewhat tail heavy so what I'm going to do is glue these bits in place, um, get my receiver in, uh, battery and some sort of back to um, see if we can balance that out and then obviously just throw it uh, and see if it's going to glide or it's going to go horrendously backwards like this. I have a feeling we may end up with some nose weight, but never mind. These things happen. Uh, servo wise, I've got some of these, uh, what are they? Some leftover tower pros from another project. They just need sticking in a bit more. And I found my original push rods and things. Uh, and I think these are the same servo horns. So, angle wise, it's kind of neutral, thinking we'll have some reflex in the wing to do something with. Don't know, let's find out what happens. Okay, so having stuck everything down and got my components in, uh, this is what it looks like ready for test gliding. Basically, I've got a, what have we got? I've got a Beck here, a D4R receiver here, Free Sky one. Um, obviously I've got servos in, and I've got a 3S 800 milliamp battery there. The reason it's a 3S is because um, it was quite tail heavy with all this stuff. So the 3S plus the back and the receiver in the front give it, oops, get the points right, give it balance, uh, just a touch nose heavy, depending where you hold it on the nubs. Just a little bit nose heavy, uh, yeah. So I think it's about right. Very easy to move stuff slightly towards the towel. But well, it's balancing there. But yeah, so ready to basically throw this, um, see if it glides or if it noses down or anything, and then I can rearrange a couple of bits. It only takes basically a, a movement of the back slightly backwards to completely alter the balance, so it's it's quite fine. Hello everyone and welcome to another awful looking day. Um, it actually looks alright at the moment, although it's due to rain pretty soon just for a change. I've just stole myself away for five minutes to see if we can throw this thing and see if it actually glides or not. So got the uh, radio, Welcome got the wing, a little bit of reflex, although I have to say it never particularly glided very well when I was flying it. It kind of had a bad tendency to tip store, but hey, we'll try it and see what happens. See, I'm throwing with my right hand to give it a bit more oomph, which means I'm not really on the control stick, but let's have another go. Good 
you know, I think that'll do the job. Uh, it seems to glide. It seems to do pretty well, actually, better than when I flew it last. So, uh, yeah, that'll do. That's perfectly happy. I'm happy to try and explode it out of some launch, you know. Let's see what happens. Meantime, the propulsion system for the Coke bottle um, is basically this. Now, I had a various look at lots of uh, videos on bottle rocket launchers uh, and built this out of PVC piping and this garden hose connector sort of sealed in with um, epoxy. Um, the only dodgy thing was that my cut here is not great and I've no idea if I've got the right um, size o-ring. I couldn't quite get it perfect but basically that should go in there over the o-ring uh, these then lock down it and when there's enough pressure what what I'm missing at the moment is the ring can go around here the ring will hold that on we then pull the ring down releasing the pressure that will explode out of there uh, the way we get air into it is bought a piece of garden hose with the handy garden connectors into which I have a normal car valve again uh, I've got a clip around it and it's got epoxy and that seems to seal quite nicely. Um, here's a very quick test firing of this I did um, a while back. What I now need to do is get the ring on this, figure out how to mount it on something, um, obviously get a proper pump, and then we'll do some tests to make sure I can actually launch a bottle before trying the plane on it. Okay, so the launcher, here's what I did. Got a plank of wood, cut it in half, and put it together with a little join there. I then went and printed out uh, these things, a little design there, just to hold the pipe in there nice and tightly. I've got this loop here. The idea is the um, the sleeve that's going to pull down will go through there. And I've also popped a hole here. The reason for that is so I can put a little peg through and peg that into the grass. So when we pull, the whole thing doesn't come up. The sleeve looks like this. It's just another printed part. It goes over the top there, through there, and we just pull it. The idea is being it launches. So that's the base. The other thing I got was this uh, cheap car foot pump. Only about a fiver, but I need it to put some pressure through. It's got some sort of gauge on. I don't know how accurate it is, and I don't know how much pressure I can put into these um, Coke bottles. The next decent day, I'll get it down the field and I'll at least test out with a bottle, just to see how it goes. Okay, first test of the bottle. We're gonna try and launch this using the launcher. Let's see what happens. So it's here to help. 40 PSI. Okay, pig, stand back. We know what's going to happen. Ready? Uh oh. Whoa, that's better. Oh my god. Yes. Whoa, that's better. Go. Oh my god. That's pretty good. It's about as much as go in. Go. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what happened? It battery pinged straight out the front as it as it launched there I mean it didn't get much going there but it lost all its uh, all its momentum as soon as the battery went so we'll see if we can uh, get this in a bit better not pressurizing leakage so what was the problem there it was all going fine and then suddenly we couldn't pressurize anything the answer is this stupid cheap ass pump apart from being awful and squeaky look at this hose it's just we weren't doing anything apart from put some air into it and you can see there that the only thing holding that together now is this um what do you call it that sort of wrap around the thing so that's completely gone all that work and we're defeated by a stupid hose meantime as we did have the battery flying out this is what the plane looks like which isn't very pretty i might tidy that up but essentially we need something really holding that on tight so this video goes on even longer. Bear with me while I order another pump, a better one this time, and we will try again. Hello, we're back at the field to try launching stuff again. Sophie says my puller. Hello. We've got the 
uh, bottle ready to go and we made some very quick repairs here uh, using some epoxy to try and seal the tube on having cut the dodgy stuff away so yeah we're just gonna try and launch this bottle to start with and then uh, we'll move on to this plane now I know you've all seen bottles fly before but this one made us laugh so I've decided to include it before you move to the plane <laughs> but it was a really good launch, wasn't it? Huh. Awesome! Brilliant. So I'm going to show three launches now where I was under control, line of sight, flying the plane. Let's try it. It's flying! <laughs> flying! Oh. Ah. What happened? I just got it all splattered! <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> Got me! Ah. Well, it works, it doesn't go very far. Um, I'm going to try to put FPV on it for the world's shortest FPV ride. Bear with me. And if you're wondering what a hastily rigged FPV setup looks like, it looks like this. It's basically a TX3 taped onto one of the 3D mounts with a 1S battery also taped on top of the other battery. So real sophisticated stuff as you'd expect. Okay, so we're gonna try FPV, which is tricky because um, I'm gonna have to put the goggles on. At the moment, it's just staring straight up in the sky uh, and I don't know what the pressure is. So I'm just gonna keep going and then I'm gonna shout to Sophie. And when I hear a big bang, I'm gonna try and steer it somehow. <laughs> now it's 60. Go. Ah! I got splattered. Me too. I landed. It rained. It like. <laughs> oh my god, the camera's really wet. And this is essentially what we did it for four seconds of water powered FPV flight. But hey, we're not out there trying to do serious science. We're out having fun. We flew FPV using a Coke bottle and we landed. For about two seconds. Yay! Better than a lot of my FPV flights though. <laughs> okay, so it launched, it flew, we even FPV'd it. Okay, it didn't go very far and maybe that's because our pump was a bit rubbish and wouldn't pressurise enough or maybe we need a bigger bottle or more water. But hey, we did it. It, uh, yeah, you can fly a plane with uh, water, just not very far on this occasion. But hey, we might be back trying bigger and better things and we'll see what happens. See you next time.